No, it's good. No, do it. That's what it's there for. Now, we know temperature, right? Okay. Temperature, uh, for the common sense, uh, understanding is just some uh, <coughs> quantity to char characterize the, our feeling of hot and cold. And microscopically, it's proportional to the average kinetic energy of the molecule. So high temperature means molecules in average move move uh, move faster. Okay, low temperature means the molecules uh, in average move slower. Um, if we want to give some number for the temperature, then we have to use units. Well, every quantity you need to have units. Okay, so there are three kinds of units of degree for the temperature. Kelvin degree, Celsius degree, and Fahrenheit degree. Okay. This one is what we use uh, in our common life. Uh, it's invented by a Polish scientist, okay, Fahrenheit. Um, this one, Celsius degree, uh, is more international used, okay. It's I think it's invented by a uh, French Celsius, okay. Uh, and Kelvin scale, the Kelvin degree is a standard unit in uh, scientific and engineering studies, okay. So in the calculation, you should try to use Kelvin degree, not Celsius degree or Fahrenheit degree. Then you can get the right uh, answer. And please note that in this case, it's even more important. It's not just uh, okay to take the advantage of uh, uh, international system, uh, unit system, where you don't have to do the unit conversion for every state. Okay. In fact, it's more important that. Uh, for the many of the calculations involved uh, with uh, temperature, you have to use uh, the Kelvin degree to get the right answer. Okay. Sometimes, if you use Celsius degree or Fahrenheit degree, you don't even get the right number because those equations are actually uh, unit dependent. All these equations you learn, most of the equations you learn in scientific uh, text, uh, literature textbook for uh, when it's involved with the temperature. It's only correct for the Kelvin degree. Okay, so you cannot use other uh, degree for most of the cases. The Kelvin degree, all the numbers come from the two reference points. We set the absolute zero as our zero, zero Kelvin. And the triple point of the water, we set it as 273.16 Kelvin, uh, 0.16 Kelvin, okay. Um, let's first look at the, the first reference point. The z absolute zero. We choose that z uh, reference point is uh, because, in our universe, there is a minimum value for the temperature. Okay, and you can understand why there is a lower bound for the temperature because temperature uh, is proportional to the average kinetic e energy. So when you decrease the temperature. That means you decrease the average kinetic energy for the molecules. So, for the average kinetic uh, energy, can you have a, do you have a minimum value? Zero. Zero, right? Okay. When the object, when the molecules move slower and slower, finally, it doesn't move at all. That's the lowest possible kinetic energy for the molecules. So, 
the temperature portion proportional to the edge, then the temperature has a lower bound. Okay, the minimum value. So our universe does have a lowest temperature, and that called the absolute zero. And then it's natural to set that as our zero reference point. Then all the temperature will be positive number. So that's what happened in the Kelvin uh, degree. Um, and the triple point is a point where you can have steam, uh, gas, okay, the steam for the water, okay, it should be the steam, ice, and water, the three phases can exist together and, and the same condition, okay. It happens at a very low temperature and the, a very low pressure. And the temperature is uh, uh, almost the ice point okay, for the water. In fact, it's only uh, 0 0.01 degree above the ice point. Okay. So we set it as our another reference point for the Kelvin scale. We give it a number 273.16. Okay, once you have the two numbers, then do the linear extrapolate, you can define any other temperature, right? Two points will determine the straight line, so you can give the number for any other temperature. And here, one comment is that uh, uh, why we make su such a strange number for the triple point? Okay, the first number is zero, quite simple. The reason we want to make is a triple point is to map to match the Kelvin degree to the Celsius degree. Okay. Before we invented the Kelvin's degree, uh, most people use the Celsius degree. So if we use that, we can match the two kind of uh, degree. So the conversion between the two will be very simple. Okay. So here, that's the conversion between the Celsius degree and the Kelvin's degree. Um, Okay, for the Celsius degree, the, it's more commonly used in uh, all other countries except for the uh, here, okay? And the reference points are quite straightforward. He makes the freezing point zero degree, and the boiling point or the steam point 100 degree, okay? So we set zero for the uh, ice point. 100 for the boiling point, and then we get all other degree from that. Um, okay, and we record it as degree Celsius, and Kelvin simply a K, you don't have to put a degree there. And you can see the conversion factor between the Celsius scale and Kelvin scale, uh, they only they are only different with a constant fact. So the conversion here is quite straightforward. And the change, you see that the change in the Kelvin degree and Celsius degree are the same. Okay, so one Kelvin degree change equals to one Celsius degree change. Okay. Now, for the Fahrenheit scale, the Fahrenheit degree, the conversion factor between the Fahrenheit degree uh, to Kelvin degree or Celsius degree are quite uh, difficult. So this is the conversion factor. So we will try to avoid to use the Fahrenheit degree in uh, scientific start, uh, starting. Okay. And the reference point for the Fahrenheit scale is quite, uh, again, it's not very easy because of the complicated conversion factor. In Fahrenheit degree, the ice point or the freezing point is 32, and steam point is 212, okay. And in fact, <coughs> originally, uh, the Fahrenheit, the Polish uh, scientists, didn't use the two reference points, okay. When he designed this kind of degree, he used uh, another two reference points. He used his body temperature and set it to 100 degrees. Okay, so that's why 
we know that our normal temperature is about 100, in fact, so 99, right? Okay, so that means the normal temperature. If it's above, above 100, you, you see you get fever. It's because he used the body temperature to uh, as 100 degree. And then he used the lowest air temperature he recorded in the winter as zero degree. Okay. So that's why in Texas, you see, uh, in the winter, we never get temperature below zero. We never get zero, uh, negative temperature in Fahrenheit degree because he's a Polish. Okay, Poland, the temperature, uh, winter temperature is much lower than here. Okay. So that's kind of the advantage for the Fahrenheit scale. Uh, you can easily figure out your body temperature and uh, um, it's not likely you are going to have the negative temperature okay, uh, in your daily life. Um, okay, and by the way, the, in the Celsius degree, the body normal body temperature, do you know what's that? Okay, it's about uh, 37. So if you do the calculation, you will see that if you put 100 here, you will almost get uh, 100 here. You will get about 37 for the Celsius degree. Okay. Uh, so the most important thing is to remember this is a standard unit, and you should try to use a standard unit instead of uh, this and this. Sometimes you can use this one because the conversion is simple. So for some simple problem, you can just look at this. But you never use Fahrenheit scale. Okay, it will bring completely wrong number. Okay, now 